My name is Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest man alive. I just always wanted to say that. I love that way that the flash starts. Um, hi, this is Trey Basser. Um, I decided to make this video because last night was the 23rd episode of the first season of The Flash TV show on the CW. Of course, starring Grant Gustick as Flash Barry Allen. And uh, I absolutely love this show. I watched it every episode, of course, and absolutely love this. So now that the first season is officially over, Okay, and it's going to be renewed, of course. It's had great ratings and stuff. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit in the video and tell you about my thoughts about it and stuff and theories and all this other stuff. Okay, first of all, this is a, a great show. Uh, just, again, I watch Arrow as well, but this show is, you know, a little bit lighter than uh, Arrow. Arrow's kind of heavy, <laughs> and The Flash is, you know, a little bit more deeper, even though, you know, the way uh, the story begins, I guess the origin of Barry, uh, Barry Allen, is you know steeped in tragedy actually, uh, and again this uh, overview I guess of the last first season is going to have a ton of spoilers in it. I'll put that in the title so everybody knows. So if you don't want to you know <laughs> know too much about it, just uh, I guess you can avoid the video. Uh, but I want the reason I want to talk about it because I absolutely love again like I said I'm a big comic book fan and you know a big watch Justice League growing up of course and I love the Flash. I used to watch the TV show with, uh, ironically enough, John Wesley Snip Ship, who plays uh, Barry Allen's dad on this show, which I thought was nice, a nice touch. And of course, uh, Barry Allen's backstory, you know, which he began saying, hi, my name is Barry Allen, I'm the fastest man alive. And when I was a kid, my mother was murdered by something impossible. And when I grew up, I became something impossible. And I used my, my speed to fight crime and help others. And one day I'll get justice for my father. Okay. I'm, yeah. That's how it begins, which is great. I love the opening scene of that, you know, how it, the, I guess the intro to The Flash. Uh, anyway, um, Grant Gustick, I think, was just great. First, of course, he was on Arrow in, like, a cameo, and then they did a pilot for the show, which got picked up, of course, and then they produced the show. And I think Grant Gustick, that's a great bit of casting because he is really, uh, now I know he was on Glee before, but I never watched Glee, so I don't, I didn't, this was my first time seeing him, you know, in anything. And he was just fantastic as Barry Allen in The Flash. He was just a... Uh, a young guy who's, of course, in love with uh, Iris West, uh, played by Candace Patton, who, of course, he grew up with after the, you know, the death of his mother, and he moved in with uh, Joe West, uh, who was another good actress, played by Jesse Martin, and, you know, he grew up with Iris, but, of course, he, you know, fell in love with her, and, of course, and of course he's in love with her on the show, of course, and, and it kind of, they're kind of related, like, first, of course, she didn't know that he you know, was in love with her, you know, he kind of kept that just, you know, kept that a secret. But Joe knew, and, uh, you know, Barry knew, and then their relationship wasn't always, you know, Barry, of course, kept that a secret, and then, of course, Iris started dating uh, a cop, uh, I forgot the, the guy's name, uh, oh, uh, Eddie Thon. She started dating him, who was a, her father's partner, and of course, so, you know, you got that whole kind of love triangle thing that was going on for a little bit and but the way I, the, the way I, the reason I like this show is just because of all the first of all the great actors on the show and the great chemistry between all of them and I think the end and, and I have to pay special attention to uh, uh, Daniel Panabaker who plays uh, Caitlin Snow Carlos Valdez who plays uh, Cisco Ramon who is that actually like they work in Star Labs with uh, Dr. Harrison Wells, played by Tom Covenant, and and them and and Grant Gustick, they all have a good chemistry as actors together, and they make a good team. Like I said, whoever cast this show did a great job because they all kind of mesh together very well. And like I said, uh, Cisco is the kind of geek of the uh, of the team, I guess, in a way, because he you know he's super smart and he. He named Barry the Flash. I don't think he named Barry the Flash. I think Iris actually named him the Flash. But he came up with all the, the names for all the villains and stuff. And, you know, he's like, he geeks out and stuff. And he gets excited when they do something great. And he was the first one when Barry Allen, you know, woke up, you know, told him his powers and actually gave him this design, the suit for him and everything. And uh, Caitlin, played by Daniel Petty Baker, is a little bit more reserved. Okay. But, you know, they're best friends. And, Again, the MVP of this show, I think, besides Greg Gustin, is uh, Tom Cavanaugh, who played uh, Dr. Harrison Wells, whose part is kind of complicated because he's played Dr. Harrison Wells, and then later we, 
we found out during the course of the season that he's not really Dr. Harrison Wells. He's actually a, a Edmond, I think Edmond, Edmond Thorne, Thorne, who's actually a, rel a future relative of of Eddie Thorne, <laughs> actually, who comes from the future, and he's actually the reverse reverse Flash, an enemy, of course, in the comic books of the Flash. And in this show, he came, he actually, the way they explain it is, you know, Barry saw his mother killed by, you know, like a big blur, and his father got blamed for it and sent to prison, of course. So Barry, Barry grew up with his mother, and then later he finds, you know, he, you know, he's all, of course trying to find out exactly what happened to his mother, investigating it, and trying to find out what happened to his mother. And we find out later, of course, that that actually, you know, Ed, Ed Borg Thorne actually traveled back in the past to kill Barry once he found out his secret identity. He traveled back into the past using the Speed Force to go back in the past and kill Barry as a child. Okay, and of course, the Flash from the future followed him back. And that's what you see, you saw basically in the uh, in the promo of the, you know, the intro of the episode. The Flash and the reverse Flash actually fighting each other. And you find out later, of course, that the Flash tucked his younger version of himself outside of the house to get him out of the danger, but of course his mother got stabbed by the reverse flash, and which of course, and the way they let the story unfold slowly and surely, you got little peaks of uh, of Harrison Wells, and you thought maybe something was wrong with him because he did these really he murdered people and were doing all these things, but at the same time he was also helping Barry get better. You know, they would catch catch other meta demons during the sh during the course of the season, and he would actually help Barry get better, and then later you find out, of course that he's actually really. Uh, Edward Thorne, and they actually show you a flashback of, of him actually traveling back in, in time and, and going to Barry's house and trying to kill him, and then, of course, killing his mother instead, and then you see he gets trapped in the past, and he can't get back to the future, so what he does is he comes up with a, he sees Edward uh, Harrison, the real Dr. Harrison Wells and his fiance, and he rigs an accident, and causes an accident for them, and he basically uh, you know, lets his wife, fiance, die, and he, I think I forgot exactly the way he did it, he basically, basically sucked the life form out of the real Harrison Wells and took his, took his image and created the, the, the particle accelerator, which is the, uh, the device that exploded, which actually caused, and caused this big, you know, you know, disruption in the air that, that, you know, that killed, uh, that actually not killed, that struck Barry with lightning and, and gave his flash powers. And the reason Harrison Wells or Edward Thorne did that was to get so Flash can get his powers and then, of course, tap into this, make him get better. His plan was to get make him get better and, f and faster, enough fast enough to tap into the Speed Force, and then that way he could tap into that and and travel back to the future where he came from, because basically he was stuck in the past, and like I said, he had to play the you know the, the ruse of being on on Barry's team, being the real Doctor Harrison Wells and. And actually helping Barry get better, so he could get, build up his speed and get better, so he could actually tap into that speed force. Okay, and then of course, you know, of course, Barry didn't know that, and Cisco and uh, Caitlin didn't know that either until later. They, you know, they found that out later in the season, and then the, like the latter part of the of the season, with with them trying to battle Harrison Wells or Edward Edward Thorn, the Reverse Flash, which I thought is just a great name, Reverse Flash. Okay, which is just a great great name, and of course. The reverse flash was faster than the flash, and and one thing that uh, I guess was was true because you know Barry, this is this is his first experience of being in the flash. He he got his ass kicked a lot <laughs> during the course of the season, and he you know he had learned some painful lessons. And I guess that was you know a lot of a lot of people didn't like that, but I guess it's real realistic because he I'd say he was just an ordinary scientist. He wasn't like he was this great fighter, but he a lot of his you know so I guess it was true to life that he would make mistakes, of course, and then. But like I said, he, he really got his ass kicked a lot of times, okay, and I'm, I'm hoping during the second season he uh, at least takes, you know, they show, you know, the gradual improvement because, like I said, he, he he started off fast and then he actually really, like I said, he broke, you know, he, he actually obtained a speed force and, like I said, in the, in the season finale, uh, actually, well, let me back it up a little bit. Uh, they actually, uh, after, you know, Dr. Harrison Wells was revealed as Edward Thorne, the Reverse Flash, and they actually captured him with the help of uh, Arrow and uh, Firestorm. Uh, this episode, the final, you know, final episode 23 of uh, the first season, you know, they had him trapped, of course, and he was asking him why exactly, why, you know, why, 
why would you help me become the Flash? And then he, you know, Edward Thorne goes into the whole spiel about how he hates him and how he finally figured out who he really was. And then he traveled back in the past to kill him. But he was so mad that, you know, Barry saved his younger self that he killed his mother. He stabbed his mother in the heart and which, you know, set off the course of events. And then he found himself stuck in the past. And then that's when he assumed the Harrison Wells identity to help, you know, and make sure Barry became the Flash and build up his speed to become, basically he had to ensure that the, that Barry would become the Flash <laughs> so he could tap into that speed force so he can get back to the future, to his own time. Okay, and like I said, there are a lot of, a lot of really good episodes in this season. And like I said, the acting I thought was great. The writing for Iris's character, not always, I mean, at first, you know, they kind of kept her in the dark, which was kind of, you know, a lot of, it annoyed a lot of people. And it, it did annoy me in a way, uh, not as much as I think some people, but eventually she did, they did have an episode where she found out, you know, when things were in peril and he kind of revealed his feelings for her and then changed into the flash in front of her and then took off. But of course he went back in time, which reversed everything. And then she didn't know. And then later she figured it out on her own. And of course she's mad at them, but that didn't last too long. Okay. And, but then this episode, which I, I had my theories about what would happen in the season finale. I thought that, that somehow, because Tom Coverdale, like I said, he he who played Harrison Wells and uh, Edward Thorne, the Reverse Flash, he was so good on this. Sh I mean, he was really, really good. His his character was one of those love to hate characters, but at the same time, he was so good in as Harrison Wells, and it was just it was basically like he was playing two people, and he was so good. Like I said, he was the MVP of this season, Tom Coverdale, and I thought that you know, and I read this. Uh, later today, uh, earlier today, where they said they were keeping him on the show. The producers said they're keeping him on the show, but we have to see how it happens, you know, how they do keep him on the show, because on the season finale, Barry had the chance to go back into time, and of course, at at the risk of uh, either dying if he doesn't obtain enough speed force to go back in the past, or if he doesn't, it's going to open up a wormhole, and if he doesn't get back in time to close, you know, for them to shut it down, basically the Earth is going to get sucked up so Barry does go back into the past, and and one of the uh, cooler moments, actually, let me back up a bit. Barry went and asked the various people in his lives, should he do this? You know, he asked his father, and his father was basically telling him, listen, Barry, uh, things happen for a reason, and maybe you shouldn't go back in the past, you know, because things, you know, and he, they still, Barry, he's proud of him and the way and the man he's become, and that was another one of these great emotional, and John Wesley said, and, 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 uh, Grant Gustick had great father-son chemistry, and that scene was one of the more emotional scenes. And then, of course, he asked Joe, who's a surrogate dad, and of course, at first he, he said, yeah, do it. And then later, you know, he has a private moment with Joe and where, where he basically calls Joe dad, you know, that he's his dad. He considers him his, his other dad, which was another nice emotional moment. And he had a nice moment with Iris on top of the, you know, on the, on the roof, you know, talking about, you know, whether he should do this and, she tells him that she'll love him either way, you know, that she, you know, that, you know, she's back, she got his back either way, which I thought was nice. And, and then he does, of course, go back in the past, you know, to save his mother. And in one of the, I think one of the great moments, you see him go back to the past. And as he's about to save his mother, which, like I said, he, he told, you know, Harrison Wells or the reverse flash what he was going to do, of course, because... He, because he had, he talked to him earlier in the episode to find out exactly, you know, how his mother died, and you know, and he and he told him how he stabbed his mother, in, in you know, in the heart after she, you know Barry saved his younger self, and then you see Barry get ready to save his mother. When he sees his younger self being taken out by the by his future self, but his future self at the last minute turns around and tells Barry, you know, basically don't do it, and then then because they. Because I think the whole point of this was that Barry, they told Barry once he, you know, uh, and another thing, uh, Firestorm and Dr. Stein uh, were on this episode, and, and Dr. Stein basically explained to Barry, once you stop your mother from being murdered, that's going to create a whole new timeline, and, and you may not know everybody that you know now. Things may change because you'll grow up, you know, you'll grow up with, you know, with your mother, so all the time, and your father won't be in jail, so things will be different, and so maybe all the people out in your life now you won't know. And of course, I think at that moment, that's when Barry realizes when his future self tells him, 
you know, don't do it. He basically waves at him like that, says, don't, you know, don't do it. And Barry realizes at that moment, and he goes back into the closet and hides, and you can see he, he hears his mother being stabbed, murdered, and then he, he comes out, and he, you know, he cradles his, you know, his dying mother who is not understanding what's going on, and he takes off his mask, and I think one of the great emotional moments between uh, Grant Gustick and the actress who plays his mother but he basically explains to her and he tells her, listen, you're going to be okay. Um, and he basically, this is bad. You know, he takes his mask off and says, I'm bad. You're going to find this hard to believe, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm your son. I'm Barry. Yeah. And I, and I've, I've had a good life. And, you know, basically telling her, don't worry. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. I've had a great life. Basically comfort her and letting her know that he grew up, you know, that even though she's dying, that, that he grew up, you know, he grew up with love and stuff and, don't worry, basically soothing his mother, which I thought was one of the great emotional scenes. I'm going to watch that scene over and over again because that, that scene really just, was just really powerful between him and his mother. And, you know, you could tell she recognizes him because I think she says, you know, one of the things that she says is that you look like my dad, I think, right? Which, of course, would make sense because, you know, that's her son. And it just, and then, of course, Barry travels back to the future and then he eh, knocks, you see him come flying out of the, uh, Thing with one of with the one super punches and and basically because Harrison Wells is gonna travel back, you know, through the wormhole that, that Barry opened up and go back to the future and, and get out of the timeline. But Barry, of course, flies through the air with a super punch and 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 basically destroys the time machine and knocks, it, you know. And then of course Harrison Ford, not Harrison Ford, uh, Edward Thorne or Reverse Flash realized that you didn't you didn't save your mother. You didn't so. You didn't change anything, and I can't go back. And you destroyed the time machine, so I can't go back to my time. And then, of course, they start fighting again. And, of course, he gets the better of Barry again, even though Barry is supposed to be fast now. He tamed fast enough to tame the speed for So that's the one thing I don't, I didn't buy about the show. Barry's fast enough to break through time twice, you know, obtain that speed force, but yet he still can't be faster than the reverse blast. You see them fighting left and right, and then, of course, he gets Barry down, and he's getting ready to get, you know, kill Barry, and he says, listen, just so you know, which I thought was great. After I kill you, I'm going to kill them too. And of course, but in one of the great moments or a moments that just, I guess, shocked a lot of people, and especially Jay Roar. There's a YouTuber, Jay Roar, who was watching it live, and I watched the video this morning. His, his reactions were fantastic. You got to watch his channel because Jay, he, it was just fantastic. He, um, you see, uh, just before he gets ready to kill, you know, kill Barry. You hear a gunshot, and it's of course it's Eddie, Eddie Thorne, who's the relative, of course. He's the great 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 grandfather of I think a couple of great great greats of Harris, you know, Edwin Thorne. Uh, so by killing himself, he shoots himself in the heart. He basically wipes and killing himself, he wipes out any future because he didn't have no kid at that kids at that point. So, and since Edward Thorne is his future relative, he basically wipes him from existence by him dying. Of course, that destroys Iris because early in the episode, they kind of, Eddie kind of said, screw uh, fate because earlier, uh, in two, I think two episodes ago or so, uh, Edward Thorne, a reverse flash, captured Eddie and basically taunted him saying that you're nothing and and I, in the future, Iris, is, Iris marries Barry, so you're a loser, basically getting him down. And uh, uh, Professor Stein kind of gave Eddie a prep talk and told him that you know, screw fate. You're, you know, that you, you can, you can change things. Basically, give him a pep talk, and so he went. Basically, went to Iris earlier in the episode and tell her, screw fate. You know, you know, I love you, and, and so you see them getting back together. But of course, he makes the ultimate sacrifice to stop the reverse flash from killing Barry and everybody else in there by, by killing himself. Basically, by shooting himself, committing suicide. And of course, at the same time, uh, you know, you see the reverse flash. The Ed, the uh, Harrison Wells identity gets stripped away, and then you see his real face again, and then you see him basically disintegrate into nothing because he doesn't exist anymore since Eddie killed himself and killed all his line that came after him. Okay, and which was a really touching moment. And then of course you still had that the black hole open up that they wasn't able to shut, and it's basically opening up in the sky and it's sucking everything up. And then in one of the cooler special effects I've seen, <laughs> Barry says, "I have to try to stop it." And he puts on his mask again, and then you see him take off again. And there's a building collapsing that's leaning up to the 
to the black hole and you see him running and avoiding things and just running and then you see him circle circle real you know going as fast as possible try to, to try to reverse the black hole and close it and then that's how the season ends and i absolutely love this show and i can't wait to get this on on blu-ray when it comes out on blu-ray this season i'm looking forward to the second season they i think that the creators knocked out of the park they had so many you know they had good villains on the show uh again the actors were great had good chemistry and again tom Cavanaugh was as great as harrison wells and the reverse flash he, he was fantastic grant gustick was a great barry allen flash like i said the only thing my only real kind of negative for about the show was i guess iris was kind of marginalized a little bit and you know she came on a little bit towards the end of the season but hopefully they'll write her better in the second season now that she knows everything she knows barry's a flash and but still and i hope they don't you know you know, now that Eddie is dead, even though, you know, with time travel, so maybe they'll find a way to bring Eddie back. I know Tom Cavanaugh is supposed to come back, but I'm thinking he's going to come back as Harrison Wells. I don't know how he is, but I think he is because uh, with Eddie killing himself and and uh, Eric Bethorn never being born, maybe that wipes out him killing the real Dr. Harrison Wells and maybe the real Dr. Harrison Wells will show up and that Tom Cavanaugh will still stay on the show who's just a great actor and I absolutely love it. Definitely MVP of the show. And this video has lasted <laughs> way too long, about 20 minutes, but I, I want to get in all my thoughts about that. And what I thought, when, before I uh, wrap this up, my theory, what I thought was going to happen in the final episode was Barry was going to go back in time and he was going to try to save his mother, but then, so what, what is it? I did think that he wouldn't do it, though, but I thought, somebody else would tell him. I thought maybe even his future self would talk to him. Oh, actually, his future self did talk, talk to him. So I guess I guess maybe I was right. That, but I, I thought somebody was going to tell him not to save his mother. That, you know, that if you change, you know, like Flash, like the Flashpoint story, which I absolutely love, that if you change, if you save your mother, you're going to change the future, which they did explain to him in this episode. And he, and he did, because like I said, he liked the life he, he had, even though his mother, the tragedy of his mother dying, he did like the life that he, and he's, and he's happy in his present life and the people that he's met and, and, and interacted with. So, so you know, heartbreakingly, you know, he had to let his mother die, but he at least got to say goodbye to her, okay? And she got some measure of peace knowing that her son grew up, you know, happy. And st so I thought that, again, a great emotional moment. But I thought also Barry was going to go back in time and stop, uh, because I didn't think they was going to capture. I think that's what threw me off. They actually captured Harrison Wells in the next to last episode, which I didn't think was going to happen until uh, what I thought was going to happen in the final episode was Barry was going to, like, that, you know, the reverse flash would still be kicking their ass, but then Barry goes back in time and stops, goes to the point where Harry, before the reverse, and stops uh, the reverse flash from killing the real Harrison Wells and capture him that way. I think that that's what I thought would happen, but that didn't, it didn't happen that way. I like the kind of way that it happened there with the whole, you know, him going back in the past and and actually working partly with uh, the reverse flash to uh, go back in the past and try to save his mother and then realizing that, you know, he was happy with his life and he didn't want his life to change. And and it was just a great, a great episode and a, and a great season. Like I said, just a few minor quibbles. Like I said, I, I didn't like always like the... Uh, the whole love triangle thing with Iris and Eddie and and Barry, but I still like. And again, uh, and also one other thing, uh, uh, Joe, you know, who was like Joe, and a lot of people kind of treated Iris like a like a wallflower that they had to protect her. She couldn't learn certain things, and you know, which was kind of you know sometimes standard TV fare. But other than that, like I said, I, I really love the show. Like I said, I loved. Uh, Carlos Valdez as uh, Cisco. He was great, always with a smile and, and, a, and a great quote. And Daniel Patterbaker, who's Caitlin Snow. Actually, they, uh, I forgot one other thing. Uh, there was a, when Barry was traveling back in the past, or traveling through time, when he broke the speech for us, he saw future events, past events, and current events. And there was a shot of uh, Daniel Patterbaker, her, her, her character, Caitlin Snow, becomes Killer Cross in the future and they actually had her dressed up like that. I gotta go back and watch that again because I kinda I saw her her image I saw her, but I I wanna see it again. <laughs> but so that tells you in the future maybe she'll become Killer Cross. And but I don't like hopefully they don't break up the team right away because I like the little unit they have together. 
and stuff. And like I said, I think that what's going to happen is they keep Tom Cavanaugh on the show. They are going to bring Harrison Wells back as the real Harrison Wells. Okay, and maybe, you never know, maybe the reverse blast will come back in later seasons. I don't know if they'll bring him back next season. Maybe that may be too soon. Maybe they'll bring him back uh, in the third season or something. But either way, uh, I love this show, and it's fantastic. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, it's 25 minutes. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Passer saying so long, and take care.